So it seems like the can is, oh, there we go. That's not good. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna make a heater using household items. Uh, this is useful if you go camping, if you're a van lifer, or if you're getting ready for doomsday. So the first item we need is a large can of soup, like this one, a roll of toilet paper, and some 70% rubbing alcohol. We're gonna use our thermometer here, our uh, infrared thermometer, to take some measurements every uh, 10 minutes and see how long this can run and how much heat it can give off. Before we get started, you wanna make sure you take the cardboard out of the toilet paper. So just rip it right out. And then you wanna take the toilet paper and put it right into the can. So a little trick to loosen up the cardboard, you can squish the toilet paper like this and it'll make, it'll make it softer so you can rip it out. There's a lot of dust, sorry if you see the dust in the air because I did a lot of sanding recently and I guess uh, some of the drywall dust got in here. I'm gonna remove the cardboard so I loosened it out just like this and I'm just gonna put it right into the can. Make sure it fits in there, you might have to squish it. And there we have it. So next step, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and we're gonna fill it up with the rubbing alcohol, light it up and see how well this setup works. Just like before, this is the bathroom we're gonna heat up. So it's fairly small, eight foot ceiling. Here's our setup right here. As you can see, the bathroom right now is 19.2 degrees Celsius, which is uh, about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be no other source of heat in the bathroom. I did set it to five, that way the heater does not function. We're gonna start filling our little heater with rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's on a safe platform, pretty sturdy, and far from anything that can melt or burn. So let's go for it. We filled it up with the entire bottle, so that's 473 millimeters. We're gonna light it up and see what happens. All right, so we have a nice burn. We're gonna close the door and start our tests. It's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna start writing it down here so I don't forget, but uh, let's see how it's doing. So it's still burning. We're gonna take temperature readings. So it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit, 20.8 Celsius, and the heater, 25 degrees and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna be back in 10 minutes. We're at the 20 minute mark. Let's go check up. Still burning, I can feel the heat. We're at 22 degrees Celsius and 71 degrees, 71.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And our stove, it looks like it's burning the toilet paper a little bit. I guess that's normal, but. We have uh, 86 degrees Fahrenheit and almost 30 degrees Celsius. Not bad, so it is heating up. We're gonna come back in another 10 minutes. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Still going strong, let's check the readings. We are at 73 degrees Fahrenheit, almost, wow, 23 degrees uh, Celsius. That's pretty impressive. And let's see how hot our little setup got here. So we're talking about 33 degrees Celsius and 99, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is heating up, but it's not as hot as I thought it would be, to be honest. It's just warm to the touch. Anyways, it's burning nicely and we're gonna be back in another 10 minutes. minutes and it's still burning at 40 minutes 
I do feel the heat when I walk into the bathroom. Uh, it is making a difference. 23.4 degrees Celsius, 74.1 Fahrenheit, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and 35 degree, oh, 37 degrees Celsius. So it is, yeah, it's heating up and we can see the uh, toilet paper burning, but no smoke and it doesn't smell like uh, burnt paper. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. So we'll be back in another 10 minutes. 50 minutes. We are at 50 minutes. It's still burning nicely. This is what it looks like. No smell at all. Let's check the readings. So we have 74.5 Fahrenheit and 23.6 Celsius. So yeah, it's still heating up. And we have on the reading here, 31 degrees Celsius and about 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it seems like it's pretty stable for the heat. We're gonna come back in 10 minutes and see if the room has gotten warmer. 60 minutes, let's see if it survived one hour. Still burning. Seems like it's getting a little weaker, but let's see how the temperature looks like. 23.6 degrees Celsius and 74.5 Fahrenheit. One hundred degrees Fahrenheit and thirty six point seven degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's still getting a little warm. We'll be back in 10 minutes. 70 minutes. Who thinks it's still burning? Oh, it's still going, okay. Let's see what we got here. So we got 73 Fahrenheit and 23.5 Celsius. We got 35 degrees Celsius and about 96 degrees, oh, still the same, about 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's still burning, we can see the toilet paper is getting pretty dark. I have no idea how long this is gonna burn for, but uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes. 80 minutes, let's see if it's still burning. Oh yeah, it's still going strong. So right now I do smell a little bit of a scent. It does smell like burning toilet paper. Yes, I do know what that smells like. We're at 23.5 degrees Celsius, 74.3 Fahrenheit. And the stove is 99, still 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And going up, going to 40 degrees Celsius. So this is what it looks like. It is getting charred a little bit but it's still burning. So we'll see you in 10 more minutes. We're at 90 minutes and we're running out of space on the piece of tape. So if this is still burning, I'm gonna have to add another strip of tape, but let's see what's going on here. It is still burning, oh my God, I'm actually impressed. So let's see if it got warmer in here. We're looking at 74.5 Fahrenheit and 23.6 Celsius. If you take a look at the stove here, we're looking at, oh, 42 Celsius and 110 Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's still pretty hot. It's actually getting hotter. And this is what the inside looks like. So the toilet paper is slowly burning away. So I have no idea how long it's gonna burn for, but we'll be back in 10 minutes. 100%. Another strip of tape going on here. And we'll see if we can make it to in the triple digits. We're at 100 minutes here. Let's see if she's still burning. Still going strong. Twenty three point seven Celsius and seventy four point eight Fahrenheit. We 
we have 132 Fahrenheit and 57 Celsius. So it seems like the cans. Oh, there we go. That's not good. What I was trying to say is the can's getting hotter because the flame is going down as the paper burns. And it makes sense that the fire alarm went off because more paper is burning and the alcohol is pretty much all uh, used up. So now we'll see how long the paper can burn. I'm gonna keep the door closed. I'm gonna go in and out next time. I'll try and uh, save the fire alarm from going off because I am in a condo complex. So we don't want firefighters to show up, but it is a risk, so we'll keep going. We're at 110 minutes. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, no more flame, I'm gonna close the door. And our final reading, 74.8 Fahrenheit, 23.8 Celsius. You can see the damage still smoking a little bit, so 48 Celsius, 117 Fahrenheit. This is what it looks like. You can see the paper burning. So yeah, it's pretty violent. You can still see the heat, the paper here is like dancing. Nope, oh, there's still something going on here. I'm not gonna blow in it because I'm sure everything's gonna fly all over the place, but it kind of looks alive, look at that. There's no wind, I'm not blowing on it, it's just the heat doing this. So we ended up heating up the bathroom 27 degrees. My eyes do hurt a little bit because of the smoke. So if you're in an enclosed space, you don't want to use this. Um, if you're not burning alcohol, it's going to burn the paper, cause some smoke, and that's what causes the irritation to the eyes. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I really do appreciate you. If you have ideas for any other tests, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to make one. See you in the next video.